back in the field. Good morning, Tatsters. Wednesday morning at silly o'clock. It's time to take you back to my favourite boot sale. Still is my favourite. I was here last week. Didn't film at it last week. I wish I did. I done so, so well. Much better than the first Sunday when I went to. Not a fake in sight. But I wasn't sure how big it was going to be. I thought it might be quite small for the first one. But no, it was a full field or full field of the main field. And there's like an extra bit going on. But yeah, I've got loads of good stuff. Most of it's listed. Probably about, I say most of it. It's probably about a third listed. Maybe half if I'm lucky listed. You have to pay up a bit, but it's good quality stuff. I always get good stuff here. So yeah, I'm excited to show you. What I get today, fingers crossed, we do get something good. Let's go on the road. I'll see you in there. I'm not here as early as I was hoping. So I've got to get a move on. Let's go. I can, but... How much on your chairs? How much? 25, okay. No worries. How about the videos? What, Wait. for the lot? Yeah? 15 quid. <laughs> Would you do 10 for them ones? 15. Four. Right. There you go, it's 15. I've got about six Really? Oh, nice. <laughs> 3000 VHS new and sealed. Quite pricey though, I paid 15 for that lot. If he's got 3000, well, see what his best price is. So far, just some new videos. That's my luck. Still early days. On the wee fit. Uh, ten of all that lot. Ten, yeah. Right. So that. I don't mean to take this apart. We paid me for the. Um... I've got a guy. Uh, there's ten yeah. for the wee. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. I, I just have to run. That's quite nice. I have to run. Look, they've got pants. Um, He's got the wrong. He's got a man with the wrong. Uh, the ropes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
much on the plane? Ten. Ten. Should have a stand. Corgi. And you can get that plane brand new 35 quid free postage so i missed that one for a tenner probably get 20 quid out of it so yeah not enough profit vintage christmas that's not vintage at all that's b and that's quite nice tablecloth I leave that. Oh, yeah. oh. John, from reseller. Careful with that one. Pulls right out. Electric pulsing, isn't yeah, it? Or something, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you that. Then, uh, a lot of bits will come from the same house. Yeah. Let's have a little look. I'll yeah. give you money for this. <laughs> Away, I'm gonna strike. How much of the music? 20. I give a 10 for the thing. You've got okay. change, yeah. I'll close it up there. Yeah, yeah. for ages for like Sony stereo system. He ended up taking it for 20, everything inside. It looked a bit beaten up. But uh, what I did miss out on, picked up that Bolo tenner into hopefully over a hundred quid at least anyway, so not bad. Oh, trying to cash register. 30 quid, darling. 30? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll take that, please. Okay, yeah. darling. Might have to come back for it. I'll... That's all right. So I'm, I'm the problem. trolley's already full, but... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's 20 and 30. Lovely, there you go. Darling, thank you. I'll put it get some to put it on the back. Yes, of the fine, yeah, thanks for that. Cheers. Thank you. Got the cash register, not in the best of conditions, but I'm going to sell it purely for a prop. I've sold one to a theatre before, so not too bad, 30 quid. They can go for hundreds if they're fully working. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Oh, oh, really? How much are you asking on it? Ten. Ten? Okay. It's 
track tour. Yeah, a bit of a whack, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I rolled it, yeah. That's it, now you've got it. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh, right. You know, proper from of the time, yeah. This is purely house clearance and yeah. Sort of you got to change, to, yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of space now. I've got yeah, any more. I need <laughs> a bit more. It's going down now, good. Because I don't, I don't know if it's back in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> it's been storing all winter. So really? The little stuff which I don't steal in. Yeah. Sense, so. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right, thanks for that. Well, I'll take it back to the car. <laughs> Cheers. So I've done alright again today. Proper 70s vintage stuff. Brand new and sealed old stock. Bolos. New and sealed old stock. Vintage. More new old stock. I'm having a lovely time. It's not leather, it's like textile, so it won't be worth as much. Decent brand. Decent brand, isn't it? How much on the jacket? Five, five yeah? Yep. I'll take that for five. Worth it for five, though. There Thanks you go. Thanks very much. Thank you, Thank cheers. You. How much on the Cindy? So, 40? Okay. No idea if what's in there, what should be in there. It looks pretty good. I guess it's just for the frame. Mm. Would you do 30 on that one? I'll do that. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good drink on that. Yeah, cool. Cheers, mate. Ten twenty five thirty. There you go. Thank you. Okay, cheers. Cindy's no mind. How much on this one? Uh, 15. 15, okay. I think I've seen that one before. Yeah. <laughs> Dynamite shack. Let's throw it in. That works. Metal. Picked up my cash register. Now we're gonna go back to the dynamite shack, try and get that a bit cheaper, and see what they got on the uh, CD tape things. Because some of them are worth more than what you'd think. Sell so three, sell for 60 quid, and I probably should share more than three. Let's have a look. Me again. Hello. Hi. 
I think. What prices have we got like on the? On the metals, they're ten or eight. Ten each. Yeah. Okay. We do 12 for the game? Yeah, 12 for the game, yeah? Uh, I'll take that one then. Yeah, yeah. Look mm -hmm. that. That's 12 there. Lovely. Thank you. Cheers, darling. Cheers. What would be your best on the stack uh, of them? I want 10 each. Oh, just 10 each, yeah? yeah? Okay. Quite Very high end. It's difficult to see the, the sealed new like that. Yeah. Fine. Uh, them. That's me done for the day. Back to the car, unload. I think my arm's gonna fall off of this cash register. <laughs> Overall, another successful day or morning. Oh my gosh, that's about 30 kg there. Oh my. Oof. That's me done now. I gotta get back for the school run. Sucks on them cassette tapes. She wanted ten pound each, just for one tape, and they were selling each for about sixteen ninety nine. Uh, someone sold a set of three for sixty pound or best offer, so say forty to fifty. Ten pound each. She had about six sixty quid. Nah, not worth it, which is a shame. But got the game for twelve, and that should be hopefully forty to sixty. So for two different items, one she sold cheap, twelve quid. I get 40 to 60, one too expensive, 10 pound each. They're worth like 15, 16 pound each. So you just never know what you're gonna pick up and what people are gonna price things at. Right, back down the A12, I need to get home for the school run. I'll see you back at home, show you what I got. Back home, made it on time for the school run. So I'm in the good books and I've got a nice lot of stuff. Really happy with how this morning went. Vintage, quality, all the stuff I was preparing for this morning. Including getting in, I've spent a total of £199.50p, so 50p short of 200 quid. One item here should make up just that on its own, and then the rest is pure gravy. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Let's flip the camera around, let's show you what I've got. Here we go, a nice little bundle going on here. We'll start with the rug, no particular order. Proper 70s, just like round rug. I've bought and sold these quite a few times. It seems to be whenever I do pick up like a vintage rug like this, it's always at this Wednesday boot sale, which is quite cool. From a house clearance, genuine 1970s design. Just a bit dusty, might whack it outside, give it a whack and that. Give it a vacuum as well, and it'll be good to sell. 10 pounds, nice bargain. Uh, the design, it's a nice 70s design. I'd prefer like geometric, like square shapes and funky oranges and that. But um, yeah, generic 70s thing. Should still be sort of 40 to 60 pounds from 10, roll it up, off it goes. Yeah, should sell quick as well, and hopefully on Etsy. This was the first pickup of the morning. Quite expensive, these guys. Whenever I ask their prices, I recognize them. I don't buy from them often, but I did get these for 15 pounds, slightly more than I wanted to pay, really. But all brand new and sealed. Got a nice set of five here. Pack of six JVCs, 240 minutes there. And then two packs of three. Yeah, 15 is a bit more than I wanted. I prefer sort of 10 pounds, but, uh, these like packs should be going for sort of hopefully 15 to 20 pounds just for that one. And the same there, 15, 20, and then hopefully that's like 12 to 15, 12 to 15. So yeah, nice and easy to list, nice and easy to send. Uh, and they do actually sell quick as well. So these should be up and on eBay by lunchtime today. Just a couple of pictures, snap, 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 and list them nice and quick. We'll come to this one, bike jacket, shoey, just a textile jacket. Like I was saying at the time, I wish it was leather. That would be really nice. That would push it up to 80 to 100 pounds worth of jacket. Textiles, they don't fetch as much. Nice size though, extra large, nice condition. Got nice branding on the shoulder and the back. Adjustable, got some armor as well. Only five pounds, should be 30 to 40 pounds. So yeah, so nice standard to pick up there. Nothing too special. This was really nice. I was not expecting to actually pick this up. Normally at this boot sale, when there's like a cash register or something really cool like this, then people ask a lot of money. There's been a national uh, cash register before and they wanted like 350 quid at the boot sale. 
I thought while I was there, I had the GoPro on, I would just ask how much they did want, just to, so you got an idea of what the prices are like. And I actually only wanted 30 quid for this one. And I took it, obviously. It's here now. It weighs like 25 to 30 kilograms. It's a heavy beast. As far as I know, it's to be restored. Like none of the buttons push down unless it's locked somehow. I have to have a little play with it. It's got its original key in there, which opens this up. Uh, yeah, just have a little play around with it. Not in the best conditions, but a bargain at 30 quid for this. I sold similar before to a theatre company. A nice vintage prop for like a period drama or theatre play. Obviously even in this condition it looks the part still of its age or of its time. 30 quid into sort of 100 to 110. Even in this condition just the only thing is it's super heavy and bulky so hopefully it sells quick so it doesn't take up too much space for too long. Coming across to this one this is a Bolo. Be on the lookout. This is the second week in a row I've picked up one of these. Revitive LV this model. Sort of a pinky purple colour. The one I got last week I paid £18, it's like the green version. It's got its box in that, haven't listed it yet. But got this for £10, just tested it and it's definitely working. Basically sends electric pulses through your feet, up your legs, and it's supposed to give you a circulation boost. These are blooming expensive new. I think new, these are like two to 250, even on Amazon. That's why they demand good prices when pre-owned. This should be about 110 to 120 pounds. In fact, from the same house clearance, Picked this up as well, it's in a blank cardboard box. And then obviously I saw the Wii Fit and the box looked in really good condition. So I had a sneaking suspicion it was gonna be new and unused. And I was right. Here we go. Opened it up, new and sealed. Even the batteries are still sealed there. There's the game there. I used to send these up to Amazon all the time. I was getting over a hundred quid when they were new. Might still try and do that now. I'm not really doing Amazon anymore. But every now and then I might send up a box here and there uh, on eBay brand new should be 50 to 60 but if I do send it up to Amazon then yeah about 100 to 120 ish so that was a really nice find. Paid up a bit too much for this one but still profit to be made. Texas Instruments uh, Speak and Spell like an original made in the USA I think it was made in the USA I don't know assembled in the USA 1978 this was actually their son's original one apparently which is quite cool. It was working when I was there, but I think the battery's gone flat from me buying it to now. But it did work, it was speaking in that, which is cool. They were asking 15, offered 10, got it for 12. Uh, should be getting back sort of 35-ish pounds, 30 to 35, so from 12. Not amazing once you take away fees, but it has got this, like the official Fun With Words booklet. It's got some earphones as well. Don't know if that's official or not. They look old actually. So that'd be cool if they're original. Uh, yeah, got the book. It is tested and working. So yeah, not as much profit as I thought. I thought at the time these were like 40, 50 pounds. I think with the box it would be, but as it is, yeah. About 35 pounds sale there. Not seen this game before. Uh, this is the one, they're selling this for 15, got it for 12. Uh, and then the cassette tapes, they wanted 10 pound each, which was mad. Uh, and they're going for like 15 to 16 each and not profit to be made there after fees and that really. Uh, but yeah. Got this one for 12, Dynamite Shack. Really cool looking thing. When I was looking it up on eBay, I did do a bit of research. It seems to be only in America these are being bought and sold. So not as so much competition. I can sort of compare the price. Like if someone wanted this game, they'd have to go to America, pay the import charges and that. So I can sort of compete with that. So I can demand a higher price. Yeah, it is complete. Uh, they did say at the time and I did quickly check, all complete. It's got these weird big, fun things <laughs> no idea how you play it but that's funky all complete vintage rare unique uh should hopefully be 40 to 60 pounds might be trying the 50 to 60 pounds see what happens even made in the usa there you go so not made in china or hong kong or anything like that it's made in usa old yeah that's a good pickup 12 into 50 60 maybe a bit more this was cool and a bit of a strange pickup. Got a subscriber, or a couple of subscribers actually, they were asking about this and apparently the guy was asking £70 earlier in the morning. He was asking 40 to me, offered him 30 and he took it. So from 70 to literally half an hour later, he took 30 for it, which is strange. This is the Cindy Super Home. Really big thing, over four foot high, there you go. Extendable, simple assembly, which is good for me. Uh, it doesn't actually come with any of the accessories. This is like you buy it separately and fill it up as you want. I think this is just the main frame of like the super home made by Pedigree. Looked inside 
and apparently it is complete, which is very nice. I can't open it that side, but it looks complete. It's got its card, it's got all the sides and everything. And obviously it's original box, bonus. Uh, I took a chance at 30, because even if it wasn't complete, people are still selling like individual parts, like the board that like, sell separately, the sides, all the nooks and crannies, like obviously being this age, things are gonna go missing. So people are gonna go to eBay to replace them. So worth the chance, but apparently this one is complete and this should be from 30 to about 100 quid here. Maybe a little bit more because it's got its box in decent condition for its age. Yeah, nice pickup. The last few items weren't technically at the boot sale. This is from a subscriber. Got to give a shout out to Kevin of the London Toy Shop. He's got a toy fair. I think London Toy Fair this weekend. So yeah, go over to Instagram, check him out, give him a follow from me. Say I sent you, I'd appreciate that. This was part of why I got this deal here. Got uh, another sign. I got one of, of these last week from him. Sort of like a retro vintage style 3D wooden sign. This one's the Carpenters, which is quite cool. I got this with this for 50 pound and a shout out. Uh, so that's that sign and this. Got this DVD to VHS chess player. Uh, this one in here is normally worth 50 to 60 when pre-owned. But the reason I paid 50 with this and that, brand new and sealed, new old stock. That's exactly why I paid up for this. And this is the item that should hopefully pay for everything here. This is one of them things I can make up a price and people should pay it. No competition, new old stock, always sells well. The only thing is it has been taped up and I might, I'm not sure yet, but I might just open it slightly with a knife just to make sure it is in there. It's not like actually been used and just retaped. And also I want to take a picture of the serial number of the unit. So no one does a switcheroo, returns it to me. Um, so I might open it and then just obviously it's still brand new old stock but uh, yeah just want to cover my back there so hopefully this is 150 to 200 like top end 200 and then obviously everything else is covered that was a really nice find and then this should be hopefully 40 to 50 pounds and then also got this from him from Kevin for 15 pounds I took a chance on this one because it's so kind to me doing this deal I picked this up for 15 Sony micro cassette recorder M9 two speed nice and complete again don't know if it's new but it's got its guarantee card instructions in minty fresh condition and then the main unit itself made in japan sony and made in japan is always a nice combo to have just double check the battery compartment nice and fresh and clean no battery corrosion going on and then we have a tape the packet's been opened but that looks new and also some sony headphones i think that's a headphone that's quite cool that could sell on its own but i might sell it complete as it is because normally the unit on its own can go for about 20 pounds uh obviously i've paid 15 which is paying up a bit but with the box with the cassette with the headphones the manual should be getting 35 to 40. yeah nice fresh unit and for collectors they want everything in good condition uh so yeah worth a risk there that's me all done there and back in an hour and a half picking up good quality vintage stuff still my favorite boot sale can't wait to go back again next wednesday i'll see you in the next one see you later